Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to episode two of Pixelmon. Yeah, I'm back here again. Um, so quite a few changes, actually, uh, for this episode. Um, you'll be noticing a lot of changes uh, simply because uh, after the last episode, I noticed it went very slow with kind of leveling up, getting Pokemon like that right at the beginning. Um, so off camera, I've done a, I've done a little bit of uh, searching. You will notice my uh, new kind of a lineup here of Pokemon. I've got quite a few now. Gyarados is actually no longer in there. So uh, Gyarados didn't last very long, but uh, they seem like a high level. However, that's only because I caught them basically at that level. Um, off camera, I've just been doing basically a ton of catching Pokemon. I really haven't leveled my Pokemon much. It's just more or less been um, fighting a very few amount of bosses and making Pokeballs to catch Pokemon. Because um, what I did is I used basically a water Pokemon like Gyarados. I'd fight a fire Pokemon. From there, I would uh, be able to fight uh, with Gyarados and get a higher level fire type. Use that fire type to get a higher level grass type. Then use that to get a higher level water type kind of work up from there until I got a fairly uh, sustainable uh, team going here um, but as you guys will see I have Matang, Lantern, uh, he's probably gonna get moved out Lantern, Lantern will. Scyther, um, I want to evolve him so I'm probably gonna move him out when I get a chance as well I have Lapras, he's my kind of ride around Pokemon and he is a pygmy size so he is adorable he is so cute <laughs> and I love him and I will call him something I don't know yet uh, <laughs> to be determined is his name um, I also have a camera up and uh, for my fire type as well as a dragon air um, I want to level up the dragon air to dragon uh, to dragon knight and the Matang to Metagross because those are both pseudo legendary Pokemon um, so yeah and um, you will notice me try to fight Kadabras when I kind of when I can see them uh, simply because they will drop um, uh, ender pearls right there um, and actually, let's go into first-person mode again here. So yeah, I've, I have worked as well. Um, Off-camera, I decided to make a little bit of my house, just kind of get a base set, uh, set up here. Uh, simply because I didn't really want to do it on camera, because it is kind of tedious. So uh, I will show you over here. This is my house. I have set it up in a tree, kind of like what I wanted to do. Something's getting hit. Oh, just two Weedles. Or is, no, those are Caterpies, actually, yeah. Um, so I have over here, I have a sugarcane farm. This was one of the actual later things that I ended up setting up. However, it is needed because I wanted to get a, an enchanting table set up. Just so I can enchant some of my picks and tools and little stuff like that. Because uh, getting fortune I think would be pretty helpful. Just because uh, for diamonds, stuff like that. Because uh, I, I did notice, I did go, I did go caving as well. Um, because I was going to record that. Uh, actually, I was about to record it, and then I noticed, it, because this is a custom map, the cave seems slightly different. Um, so they're more of a kind of linear cave. You just kind of go and go to the bottom, and there's seems like there's more diamonds kind of on the outs uh, outskirts, like on the edges. So, oh, apparently this guy wants to fight me. Uh, so it was fairly easy. Also, there was no uh, enemies kind of down there, so it was really kind of bare. So it didn't really seem that exciting. So I didn't record that. Um, <clears throat> but I definitely did go caving, uh, cause I did need supplies to get all the stuff as well as I set up an apricorn farm here. Uh, really it seems I, I pretty much want this, this is as expanded as I'll want it. Um, only, oh, right. And you can't stand on those or else you get kicked. So yeah, <laughs> let's get off of those now. So yeah, down here, basically it's 10 per row, 15 for the black row, just cause, uh, these black apricorns are very useful. Um, and are, are basically used for a lot of uh, a lot of different pokeballs So I do have much more of them, but I don't plan, plan to expand this anymore Only problem is some of them don't seem to grow which makes me sad But yeah on to the base here, so uh, As you can see you can see a little bit of a ladder there, and this is kind of my entrance for uh, To my I guess house for right now um, basically a big old ladder uh, not that not that quick or anything to get up, but uh, it seemed like the best way to kind of do it. And I have worked here. I've decided to go with more of a circle kind of a starting base. So this took a surprisingly long amount of time because you have to kind of clear it all. And I only have like a stone axe and I just have to clear it. I use my fist on the leaves, have to put out the floor and I have to put down these. But the worst part was these middle ones because uh, for these ones, you need something under it. 
and so I'd have to place down wooden planks and then I have to go along place them all and then because I didn't want anything under it I wanted it to kind of be integrated with the tree my house space I basically had to go and take away all those wooden planks so yeah now I just have basically wooden logs um, kept the kind of design is coming out of here I just have a little ring of that uh, uh, upwards facing logs and then kind of going out to the sides uh, I believe this has a radius of 17 this circle so it's fairly large, uh, but it seems to be kind of the perfect size, actually. Uh, kind of the size I was going for. Uh, in the future, I plan to put kind of glass up here and then like a second disc on top. But yeah, that's all in kind of good time. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, I have, this is my uh, chest here. Mainly 40 diamonds, got some gold. Gold will be used for rare candies, uh, something that I, I do need to get because it will be very helpful. Um, and actually, I do want to smelt some of these some of this iron here Let's just put actually no wait we need that uh let's store this in there for now uh so i have made a little kind of storage chest for all my apricorns uh currently i have great ball lids i don't have any more um because uh, how uh, I can't I don't believe I show this in any episode but how it works to make pokeballs is you have to initially make a uh, an anvil here you have to have a hammer and if I can show you with uh, one of these here, um, I grab this. Basically, you can craft iron discs, uh, and let's grab actually, let's put this in there, there, and let's grab a cooked apricorn, or no, we need two of these, one of these. So I'm going to make an ultra ball right now. So what you need is you need this setup for an ultra ball disc. It only gives one for an ultra ball disc, so ultra balls are fairly expensive, actually. So, okay, and it is thunder. So, uh, let me see, what do I need? Oh, right, and in here, here's a button, uh, which is made from stone. Uh, so I come over here, what you do is you place down, then you basically left or hold left click and you kind of hammer away, and then you right click and it gets rid of it. And uh, then you can basically, you do the same for the iron disc, which is basically the bottom of the ball. And, and you can basically right click with the iron disc to get the next one started, uh, which this can be tedious when doing stacks or like a stack of them at a time, just because there's so many. Um, but doing them little, uh, kind of little steps like this isn't too bad. But yeah, so once you get that though, you can basically, I'm actually going to grab these out and use them all up. Actually, I'm going to leave one in here for a placeholder. There we go. So I'm going to grab that and I need four buttons. Uh, oh, that, that is five. My counting is not very good. So over here, so what you do is you place the button in there, the base is at the bottom, and then the lid on top. And there you go. You got your ultra ball. And I am making great balls. The reason I'm making them is just in case I run out of ultra balls and I need something to catch a Pokemon. I kind of have like a big storage of the other ones. So that's really the main goal of that. Um, but I do want to use ultra balls if possible because simply it's it's better. Uh, really, that's uh, the only reason why. Um, but what we need to do is we need to get 15 more leather. Uh, need some more uh, apples as well. Just because I eventually will need to use uh, uh, use it on gold. Uh, or to make golden apples, I should say. Uh, just because it will be needed for rare candy. Uh, and actually, I should probably... I'm going to get this started on the smelting here just because it can take a while when you're waiting for it. Uh, but let's see. What else can we make? Oh, right. And I did make a little healer just for my home here. Just so I could heal my Pokemon up. Just because I, uh, I don't like going all the way over to a different uh, place for it. Uh, oh, also. One thing I did get while I was gone. Um, as soon as this stops. Come on. Come on. Stop. There. Over here, um, nope, over, nope, oh, no, oh, wait, no, yeah, it was here, covered fossil, I finally found one of these, this was actually very difficult to find, um, it was, it was surprisingly difficult, I had seen some episodes and they seemed to find them fairly quickly, but it took me, like, on my third mining trip I actually found one, so, finally I found one, so I do want to make kind of a setup for that. Uh, but I I don't actually have the uh, wiki page up right now, so I don't know how to make it. So that will probably happen in either the next episode or probably the end of this one, one or the other. Um, but yeah, so we have that set up, have the healer. I want to make a PC for in here, um, just because a computer is very nice, just because you can use it just to basically change out Pokemon whenever you need. Uh, got my bed set up. I'm actually going to probably skip the night right... Oh, actually, wait, no, no, wait, no, no, no. Never mind. Because, uh... Reason, if you see my inventory, I have a ton of different Pokeballs. Um, actually, I'll go over quickly, just in case you don't know what they do. Um, 
Pokeball, just completely regular. Great Ball, a little bit better than Pokeball. Ultra Ball, one of the best of these three right here. The Dusk Ball, it's the same as a Pokeball unless used at nighttime, which is why I'm not switching it today. Because at nighttime, it is three and a half times the catch rate of, a, I believe it's a Pokeball. And the Ultra Ball only has a three times catch rate, but it's all, all the time. So if it's at night, you use the Dusk Ball. Um, Dive Ball, they're better for um, Pokemon that are... Uh, live in the ocean timer ball they're better for longer battles uh, if a battle has been going on for a long time and you use it it can have up to a four times catch rate heavy ball they're good for heavy pokemon there aren't a ton of heavy pokemon though that's why i only have 15 net balls i believe are for bug pokemon which uh, i only have 12 because i don't really see the need to get many um friend balls what they do is they basically put the happiness of a uh, whatever uh, Pokemon you catch up to 200 when you get it. So I have these mainly for Eevees if I find them. Just because um, two Eevee evolutions need to have high happiness and it's just easier if they start at a higher happiness. Um, fastballs, if you throw it out right away in the battle, you can have a higher chance of catching it. Usually for catching Abras. Um, and then you have a repeat ball. Those are for Pokemon you've already caught before and you want to catch again. So I only have six just because, well, I don't really see it too much of a need for that. And then the moon ball, I got that from a boss. So that's why I have that. <laughs> really no reason for that, uh, for the moon ball. Just it's because happened to have it. Uh, but yeah, so um, this is kind of the setup I have here. I do have actually, I might as well. I have enough for a leaf stone shard. So I'm going to make one just so I can say I have it. And I'm going to put it in here. Oh, actually. Uh, I'm going to put it down here with these. Uh, Everstone, that's probably something good. And so, yeah, so these are my TMs as well so far. Um, so, uh, I have Flash, Ally Switch, Rain Dance, Work Up, Struggle Bug, uh, Facade or Facade? I don't know which one it is. Um, Sunny Day, uh, Thief, Toxic, uh, Substitute, Quash. Oh, I thought that said Squash at first, but it is Quash. Uh, False Swipe, this is good. If you basically, you can set up a Pokemon so it's kind of like your catch, like uh, a Pokemon that's good for catching Pokemon. Because this false swipe always leaves the Pokemon with one HP left. So very helpful for uh, getting uh, or catching Pokemon. Some Pokemon automatically have false swipe. Like I know uh, Farfetch'd, the bird Pokemon, it usually has false swipe. Um, but if a Pokemon doesn't, put this on it and it is very helpful. Also, I did find a dungeon. <laughs> But yeah, so that's kind of an update on what's going on here. Uh, other than that, it's basically just got a house here. Really haven't gone too far. And I didn't want to go fighting too much just because I wanted to give you guys an update on what's happening. Uh, just because this can seem a little bit like a quite a big change in since when you guys saw. But really, it's actually not that much because there's always level 40s and 50s around just to kind of catch. So it doesn't actually take too long. Uh, it will take long though for getting the higher level Pokemon. Uh, also, I haven't found any, or I found legendaries, but I haven't like been able to catch any. Because um, I found a, I found a Rayquaza, right, like uh, when I first uh, started the server right away. Um, it literally spawned right in front of my face before I even started recording. And then, other than that, um, I don't believe I've actually seen one. I, I've, I've, they've said they've spawned a lot of times, but I have not seen it. So, yeah. Um, hopefully I'll be able to catch one of those, but I do want to get a master ball. Actually, oh no, I, that's, I need to go, there we go. Um, but for now, I'm going to see what I can switch out here. So, Scyther, I'm going to switch you out. Um, oh yeah, these are the Pokemon I have, actually. Um, uh, kind of useless, kind of useless. Uh, this is my Grovile. Switched them out, didn't really need them. Um, <laughs> these Chinchus, uh, I, I was just catching really small Chinchus. If you, you can see here, um, my lantern he's a very small lantern it's because i had like a baby chinchu so i just kept the chinchu because he was like the cutest thing in the world um however now he grew up to a lantern so he's not as small and cute so that kind of sucks but um so i'm still keeping him but i'm probably gonna put him back now because uh because uh, he kind of uh is no longer that small i believe this machop is also really small i like catching little tiny pokemon because they're so cute they're adorable um <laughs> Putting him back though. Uh, this is a Gyarados that we started off with. <laughs> he only got to level 21 before I put him back in. Uh, Pillow Swine, he'd be good if he could evolve into a Mammoth Swine, I believe it's called. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't th think this mod pack has it yet. Um, Aggron doesn't have many moves, so I'm just keeping him there for now. Um, other than that, this Machoke, I might get him, uh, uh, him into a Machamp. Um, just because... Uh, well, actually, well, that just requires a trade, really. Uh, so that's not... 
that's not too hard to do. I will want to level him up a bit though. Um, I believe is this guy. How big is he? Oh yeah, okay, he's about my size. Cool. So yeah, he's cool. Um, Lantern. I I'm guessing I'm just gonna. Uh, I feel like I should trade him out for something like maybe an Eevee. Maybe I should level up my Eevee a little bit. Yeah, okay, that seems pretty good to me, and I don't have anything in the other pages. But yeah, let's do a quick heal here. Uh, but yeah, so that's basically my team or my setup right now. Um, oh, actually, I'm going to swap it around so my Dragonair is next after the Matang, just in case Matang dies. Um, then I have Dragonair up at the front when I need him. And like so. Perfect. Cool. So I have, I'm trying to get kind of a well-rounded team in the sense that I kind of have all of the... Um, different types of Pokemon like water fire stuff like that just so I can be kind of well-rounded um, and we are having I can't I don't think if I ever told a date for it but we are having um, a fight uh, kind of like a little battle between all of us on the server on I believe it's this upcoming Sunday um, wait, is, this a, is this a boss no it's not dang it, it looked like a boss oh, oh hey Dratini oh this is a, no this is a dragon air 43 here, let's try Rosie. something. Here, come a dragon here. Actually, what's this one? Huh. Usually these guys are hard to find. That's why I'm kind of in shock here. This is... Usually they are very difficult to find. So, let me see. What level? Oh, he's level 40. Oh, okay, that's better. So let's... I don't know. I just want to try to catch another one. Because, you know, it's never bad to have another one. Okay, well, um... This is not going to do much, is it? Oh no, okay. Um, well, let's use Confuse Ray, so hopefully he can hurt himself. Um, I'm using Lapras though, just because I don't actually want to hurt him that much. I just want to uh, get him low. Um, oh jeez, this might take a little bit though. Um, Goldine, hmm. Goldine. Well, I, I only need to get down a little bit low. I'm going to try a Repeat Ball though. Um, hey, wait, he snapped out of Confusion. You're not allowed to do that. <laughs> Go back in. Uh, the rain stopped. Let's use Rain Dance again, just to make my because Rain Dance basically, if you don't know, makes my water gun uh, more effective because it's a water attack. Um, however, it might make their water attacks more powerful as well, so it might not be that good. <laughs> okay, so now he's down. Actually, let's get him down one lower. There we go. Okay, so even if I didn't use a repeat ball, I think it would work. But uh, I'm going. Actually, Goldine, Goldine. No, I, this is just a. Okay, I like to have all my Pokemon in Ultra Balls or something kind of like uniform and nice. That's why sometimes I use an Ultra Ball on even easy Pokemon, but... Oh, wow. Okay, well, Lapras Goldie. is almost dead, Goldie. so let's just switch him out to something that can take a little bit of a beating. Oh, Dragonair. <laughs> let's go. Oh, it's super effective. That's not good. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to go with an Ultra Ball then. Um, just in hopes that... Because I think an Ultra Ball will Goldie. catch it, Goldie. so... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hope, <laughs> cause I do want it to catch. Um, I thought the repeat ball would have caught it, but there we go. Okay, yeah, sweet. Okay, so um, we have a Lapras still, so that's so that's the positive of this. Um, oh, hey trainer. Um, let's ride. Let's go. Oh man, you have like no health. What happens if he dies while I'm on him? That would be awkward. <laughs> that would be really awkward. <laughs> Just he just kind of dies. Oh, what, what the heck is that? Oh, a ditto. Ah, I actually want to catch you. Come Guard. here. Guard. Come. Uh, nope. Uh, I want to catch him just because they're slightly. It seems like they're rare in just how you find them. Apparently, they're very uh, very useless at the moment because they're kind of glitched. Um, but I do Guard. want to uh, catch one anyways. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that did more than I thought it would. Okay, well, let's try to catch him. Um, hopefully, I only need an Ultra Ball. I don't think Dittos are too hard to catch. Oh, no, it didn't work. Okay. Um, Eevee. Okay, well, if, if I kill it, oh, well. Um, but I want to see if I can... Okay, quick attack. Okay, perfect. There we go. That's what I needed. And now use another Ultra Ball. So hopefully this catches. And I wait, basically. <clears throat> um, oh, dang it. Use transform on... Why? Um, Pokemon. Uh, or, no, I guess just uh, Pokeballs. Um, okay, do I have my... 
Oh, did I get rid of my lantern? Oh, I did. Lantern had a thunder wave, which uh, made them paralyzed, which was good for catching Pokemon. Um, what would Ditto be? <laughs> I guess the best thing is Ultra Ball to catch him. That sucks. These Ultra Balls are expensive. <laughs> Dang it. Well, I might end up using a couple on him, which is unfortunate because I don't want to do that. Because <laughs> they're expensive to make, but I do want a Ditto just so I can say I have one. Uh, there we go. Captured him. Cool. Um, what is this over here? Oh, well, you're so cute. Um, so yeah, let's just keep going. See what else we can kind of find or fight. There we go. There we go. Cool. Uh, I'm also really kind of looking for some boss Pokemon. Uh, po Jeez, I said that weird. Pokemons. Um, just because I do want to get some more TMs and I really want to get a Master Ball. That's what I really want to get. But more or less, I just like the kind of goodies that you get from it. Uh, oh, actually, I might as well uh, heal up while I'm over here at this Pokey Center because it's kind of conveniently placed. Also, so uh, while... Oh, yeah, turn around. Uh, so, dang it. So that's... A, ah, no, 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 no. Oh, wait, Enterpro. Mm, yes. Whew, good thing I had these on me. So apparently that's what happens if you die while on top of a Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so other people on the server, so so far, um, there has been legendaries actually caught. Uh, there's been, I believe, two caught, uh, a Moltres and a uh, Mew. I believe those are the two that have been caught. Uh, so I, I kind of want to catch one too, because um, for this first battle that we're doing, we're having a couple clauses just to kind of make it fair. Um, in more professional tournaments, they have clauses, uh, basically things that you're allowed to do and not allowed to do. Um, just to make things um, a little bit more fair and not overpowered. So I'm totally down with that. That is a baby Dratini. That is so cute, but I'm not going to waste my time on it. <laughs> um, but yeah, these uh, clauses are called. Uh, we do have a couple of them, like the sleep uh, clause, uh, one hit KO clause, stuff like that, just to make sure that people can't uh, uh, use just luck or something to win. Um, also, we have that we're not using legendaries unless everybody has a legendary. So we will, uh, we are probably not going to be able to do legendaries for this very first fight simply because it is, oh my God, that's a big Rapidash. It is going to be uh, really difficult for everybody to get a legendary in time um, because we are planning to do it in a couple days. I think it's like on the, let me think, 7th, uh, 9th or something, uh, February is when we're planning to do it. So yeah, um, I'm actually hip now. Oh, he's different than... Okay. Well, I wonder if he still drops... <laughs> I get so distracted in this game, but I wonder if he distra uh, if he drops... Uh, what are they called? Um, Ender Pearls as well. Uh, let's use Zen Headbutt. See if that does anything. Um, it wasn't very effective. Okay, well, Meteor Mash. Let's see how good that is. Uh, and see, one thing is... Oh, yay! Oh! Matang has grown to level 45, so this is where it gets fun. Matang is evolving. So... Yay, because this goes into a Metagross. Slowly. So Metagross, basically, what it is, is he's a pseudo-legendary. Um, kind of what I was talking about Dragonair and uh, Metang at the start there. Because um, Dragonair goes to Dragonite, and this guy goes to Metagross, as we see here. With And they're both pseudo-legendary. So basically meaning they're almost legendary kind of status. They're really good Pokemon, or usually really good Pokemon. Uh, so Marie. that's why I wanted to get it. But let's see, oh my God, he's bigger than I thought he would be. Marie. Cool. Marie. What? Where's he going? <laughs> he walks really weird too. That's cool. Yeah, come back here. Oh, can I ride him actually? Ah, oh, I can't. Dang it, that would have been cool though. Uh, oh wait. Oh, is this a boss? Is this a boss? He looks different colored. Is he like a red boss or? Oh yeah, he's yellow. Cool boss. Um, well, let's use uh, Dragonair okay. now. Um, and let's put choice band on him and go, eh. Okay, you use, I guess, Aqua Tail for now. Oh, oh, oh man, level 93. Oh, this is the yellow. Yellow is the most difficult one. It's tw 20 levels above your highest one is how it works. Or highest Pokemon. Or, or sorry, 40 levels above your highest Pokemon is what I meant to say. I think, maybe, possibly. Here, let's see what levels my Pokemon are. My highest level is a 53. Yeah, 40 levels above. Wow. Okay. That is a difficult Pokemon. Oh, man. He's going to he's gonna kill me. 
He's gonna kill me. I don't want the Dragonair to die. Um, okay, let's just hope he doesn't hit me. Dang it, he hit me. Ah, uh, he doesn't get the XP now. Okay, well, I guess I was being greedy. Um, let's go... Uh, let's throw him a choke out just because I want to get him some XP. Um, oh no, but he's going to get one shot if he stays out. Okay, <laughs> Metagross! <laughs> uh, it had no effect. Oh, cool. Okay, Zen Headbutt. This will kill you. Um, super effective. Nice. So, Machoke is going to get in a ton of levels. 32. Um, oh, Vital Throw. The, user's at the user attacks last. In return, this throw move is guaranteed not to miss. Okay. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, 70 power. Um, so the target is thrown using the power of gravity. It inflicts damage equal to the user's level. Eh, that seems uh, not actually that great. Um, um, let's see. Let's get rid of Seismic Toss, actually. Um, so I may be doing things wrong, but um, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, Machoke level 33. Wow, okay. Um, dive Ball, Ultra Ball. Super Potion, Volt Switch, another one of these, Volt Switch again, <clears throat> sorry about that, still a little bit sick, um, so two Volt Switches, or, yeah, Volt Switches, Bulldoze, Rock Tomb, and Friend Ball, cool, nice, that was very good, I like, I like those guys just because the yellow guys give more, simply because they, here, that's off, uh, because they are the most difficult boss you can find, so, that is uh, very good to find, because you get lots of good things from it. Uh, oh, hey, wait a minute. Things, room, messages over here, thing stuff. Um, ah, okay. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> so somebody's, uh, yeah, actually this was me that made this little public farm here. Um, uh, I guess they're just talking about the public farm. I'll read more on it later. But yeah, so over here, if I could freaking go in here, it's, it's not even worth it. Let's just walk in. Jeez. Uh, so I want to heal my dragon air, and then I want to move him to the top um, in place where Metagross is, uh, just so we can level up, because I want to get him to Dragonite as well, which is only two levels away, which is good. Let's grab that. Over here. And there we go. Cool. So now we are good to go. Uh, so luckily, that was my actual first uh, yellow type that I found. Oh no! Don't die, Drowsy. Oh well, he can die. Too. It's okay. Uh, let's just keep going here. Also, people have actually found shiny Pokemon as well on this already. Uh, I believe three shiny Pokemon have been found, and two have been caught. At least, uh, to my knowledge, when I'm recording this, that's what it is. Um, I believe it's been an uh, Ekin and a uh, Chansey and something else um, have been the things that are uh, shiny that people have found, which is pretty cool. Uh, I haven't found one or seen one, to be honest. Oh, hey. Hello, Ditto. I found you again. You're obviously not that rare. <laughs> oh, well, I got one already. And he was a higher level, so he's cooler. Um, not sure what I'm gonna find out here. Really, I'm just kind of searching for boss Pokemon. So I might just probably. Oh, actually, do I want to get a far fetched? These guys are cool. Ah, uh, no. I might though. I'm thinking about it. I need a flying Pokemon, but I might save that for um. Oh, um, I might save that for uh, legendary. Um, because I'm not sure if you can ride Rayquaza. I know he's considered flying, not sure if he can fly either, like when you're actually on him. Also, oh, actually, technically Dragonite, I think it can fly. Um, well, um, if not, I'm, I might use Moltres and use him as my fire Pokemon. Not really sure. Um, but yeah, I'm probably just going to search around a little bit, see if I can find a boss Pokemon. Um, if I do, I'll, and if I do, I guess I'll just uh, meet you guys when I do. So yeah, um, I'll be right back. Okay, and welcome back here again, guys. So I have found another uh, boss I can start with here. Um, actually, let's get off Lapras first, and eh. Oh, I got him, nice, cool. So level 58, this is the easiest one, just the green guy, so basically it's gonna be easy, especially because I have a super effective thing against him. Uh, full heal, that's useful. Taunt and Thief. 
So I guess not a gr too great of loot because you only get a couple items. Um, but yeah, I found another guy. So yeah, uh, once again, I'll be right back. Okay, and now I'm fighting a Magnemite. Just another green one. Um, however, finally I found one. It took quite a while for actually to find this one, but um, finally have it. Okay, that didn't work very well. Let's just use Aqua Tail again. Oh, oh damn. Uh, let's try Twister. Dang it. <laughs> okay, well, let's just continue with water. Ooh. Uh, so much stuff I can't carry at all. A power weight, and then... Low sweep. Oh, that's what my, my choke has. Frustration and reflect. Um, let's get rid of that. Um, come on. Up. There we go. So, power weight. Uh, let's just put on something. I don't know what it's going to do. I'll figure that out later, but I know putting on something probably won't make it hurt. So, yeah, cool. <clears throat> um, I guess I'm just going to continue my search. Uh, and I will get back if I find anything cool. And that thing looks hideous. Oh, dang I'm in. That thing, yeah, right there. The jinx. Okay, uh, well, yeah, I'll be back when I find something. And we're back at the base here, guys. And so we are making some bookshelves. Uh, on the way over, or while I was out there, I got some more uh, leather. So I could quickly make uh, some bookshelves that I need. Uh, I also <clears throat> found a couple more apples. Put those in here. Uh, noticed I have so many sugarcane that I just don't need, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, I guess I guess there'll be some day that I eventually need it. Uh, but I guess for now, let's set this thing up here. Herm, um, this might have actually been poor planning. Uh, let's see. And it still needs more, does it? Yeah. Um, hmm. Uh, what should I do? Hmm. <laughs> this wasn't designed very well. Um. Well, I got wood to spare. Let's just break this down quickly. <clears throat> okay, so what I want to do... Okay. So I'm going to make this all into... Um, stuff again. I can't think of the word. Okay, this is seven. No, we need more. There we go. That should hopefully do it. Never mind, not at all. Dang it! This is taking more than I thought it would. Let's do four. No, let's just do five. Because that'd be three, so I need to have three per. Oh god. Okay, there we go. So now I have enough again. <clears throat> so if I come over here, uh, let's try. So I put it down there last. So let's try it right here. Um, let's get, let's get all the way to the edge. So, now, from there I need to have, dang it, I think I did it wrong again. Um, okay, uh, da, 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 da. Cause I need to go one, two, three. Hmm, okay, <laughs> this is painful. Okay, well, I'm gonna be out of wood probably by the time I figure this out, but that's alright. Um... Actually, I probably don't need that much anymore. Seven eight, yeah, there, that's enough. And there. And okay, so attempt number two. I am going to place this torch. Okay, there. Okay, so move this over. I'm fairly confident with this, with this one, so I'm just going to move this over as well. Let's do that. 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 Um. And I have four left to spare, so I go one. Let's put one up there, one here, one here, one, and actually let's grab one more. This should be up to 30 now, but yeah, okay. I do want to grab one more though, just for aesthetic reasons. Let's go like that, one, two, three. Put this in here with these papers. Like this. so, how did I have an extra paper? Oh wait, no, you need three books per. Well, good thing I have exactly two more leather. And let's go like this, and like so. And then there, and 
So, there we go. That was easy enough. Let's go over here and boom. And so now we can put stuff like this. For now. Um, so let's see. So they should still give 30 levels. Yes, cool. So let's put 30 levels on a pick. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> well, great. Um, that is not at all what I wanted. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, right. I don't have any books. I was going to enchant a book, but I can't. Um, okay, well, I guess we're done with that then. Uh, yeah. Um, unfortunately, I guess we don't have anything left or any more leather. Um, I guess I'll just get a couple more for next episode. I'll actually, I'll probably enchant a little bit off camera as well. Now that I got the setup here. Um, but this will probably be the end of this episode here. Next episode, I hope we can get kind of like a PC, like more machines up and running, like a couple, like a fossil, um, cleaner and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I will see you guys next time. Bye.